Let's talk about Senegal today. You are talking about Senegal today. My name is Katon Mkassan. Of course, this is Humanist TV Africa. You are watching us live wherever you are at Humanist TV Africa. We are a charity organization. We get that to do media work. Our name is Humanist TV Africa. You can get us on our website, on TikTok, Facebook, YouTube. Our name remains Humanist TV Africa. Please, how about subscribing and join us? Send us an email, but also subscribe and follow, like, comment at his Humanist TV Africa. In the studio is uh, my colleague Dennis Bongole to do the production. We are having studios in Uganda, Kenya. We have studios in Uganda, Nigeria. We have studios in Zambia, Zimbabwe, CRO, UK, USA. And we are growing, opening up more studios in the world to do media work that others don't do. Today, we are going to be handling uh senegal and our program humans uh country profiles country profiles is the program we are going to be handling today i talk about one of the smallest countries in africa but a country despite being in the french colonies of west africa a country that has never had a coup in senegal a country that got their independence in 1960 have never had a coup. One of the most peaceful countries in West Africa is a country called Senegal, known for its beautiful sportsmen and women. Guys do not press football and netball can be found in Senegal. It has one of the best, best flags in the world. Green, the green star. Yellow. And red, of course, you know what it means to have red, the red blood that flows in all of us, the yellow, sunshine, and the green, the agriculture, the fertile soils, and of course, the tropical nature of our lands in Africa. Now, Senegal is a country definitely in West Africa, one of those smallest countries in Western Africa, at the tip of Africa. Western Africa, at the tip of Western Africa, the land has a total of 160 seven 160 uh, uh, uh kilometers and of course it is a, a coastline of 531 uh, kilometers now when you look at this map let us look at this map first of all we see the car there by the way st louis is the oldest city in senegal discovered in 1600 by who by the portuguese and french uh these are the guys who established uh, st louis 1600 is there. One of the oldest cities in Africa is uh, found in Senegal. Senegal is a neighboring Mali, uh, Gambia, uh, Bissau, of course, 
Guinea, Guinea Bissau, and Mauritania up in the north. Senegal has a population of about 18 million people, and of course, we see Dakar as a, a major city now. Don't forget, Senegal has some of the best environment, the best uh, 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 nature climate in uh, West Africa, right there. And of course, the languages we sing in Senegal, we have the Dorof people, the Wolf and others, the Dorof and Wolf, some of the traditional ancient tribes you can trace in Africa are the Jorof and Wolf people uh, we, who are found in Senegal. Here, we sing the uh, distribution of these tribes and uh, 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 ethnic groupings in Senegal, but also we sing the languages they speak, but also we see the cities and the towns where administration is done in this country we know as Senegal. Senegal is a beautiful country. For example, if you want to know the area of Senegal, look at Minnesota, if you're in the US, uh, more or less the size of uh, Minnesota, one of the smallest countries in the world. It is the 25th smallest country in Africa, but also ranked as 88 in the world in terms of size. It's a small country. Now, administrative uh, regions of Senegal, we look at um, Longa, Watam, Karuaka, uh, Juba, and of course, St. Louis, the oldest city in Senegal, Matam. And of course, we know the Dakar. And of course, uh, we know all this is part of uh, Senegal. It has a, a history, a legacy that is so rich. Now, Senegal follows, of course, an interrepresent republic. And uh, since 1960, it has been independent. In terms of minerals, Senegal is rich. Senegal has discovered oil. If you don't know, I should tell you, Senegal recently discovered oil. But also Senegal has other uh, uh, things where they get their with fishing, agriculture, iron. Senegal has iron, has zincon, has gas. Senegal has gold. Senegal has phosphates. And of course, Senegal has many other uh, worth uh, stones as you can see on that map. Of course, Senegal has the linkage to the Atlantic Ocean. It makes Senegal a beautiful country because Senegal has a coastline of four, 500 meters plus, a coastline right there. So Senegal was used for slave trade by the French, by the Portuguese, and by the British. Why? Because Senegal was easy to connect with the rest of Europe. Senegal became a center for slavery, a center for slave trade. Why? because of the coastline, because of being near to the ocean. Senegal was used as a slave location, as a slave collection, and a slave market for the Europeans to come to Africa and steal and destroy. They used, of course, um, uh, Senegal in those years. Remember, vegetation is good in Senegal. They have some of the best soils in the world. When you go to Senegal, be sure to get many of the fruits you see in West Africa. You see in East Africa, you are going to see them in Senegal. Today, the population of Senegal is 18 million people. Here I'm showing you, it is 17, but take it from me, they are now 18 million people. And of course, the population per kilometer is 88 uh, people. Life expectancy is a bit okay at 64 uh, years. Of course, females live 69 years, males live 64 on average. And of course, birth rate is a bit high at 32%. Death rate is 5%. Males to females, males to females is 49 to 50%. So females are quite many in uh, Senegal right there. We look at our statistics. We look at, I told you the tribes in Senegal. Talk about the Warof, talk about the Jorof, and the Fula, the Sera, Bambara, Geo, Marinke, and of course, uh, 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 Diola, Marinke, of course, some of them are French uh, people because French, uh, France has been in Senegal uh, since um, the, of course, uh, when I talk about France, France was in Senegal from 1659. France was in Senegal from 1569. You can imagine. And of course, France has been ruling Senegal since then until 1960 when France left. Now let us look at uh, uh, religions in Senegal. Senegal, for your information, has more Muslims. 94% of Senegalese are Muslims. Why is the question? I will tell you the answer. The answer is that uh, from uh, the 8th century, listen to this, from the 8th century, Senegal 
was attacked and occupied by the Tualgins and the Babas. These are Muslims who came to Senegal. The Babas, the Tualgins, and others came to Senegal and occupied it in the 8th century. 8th century. These guys have been there. They are like Arabs. They have been tamarried in Senegal. So they came to Senegal, occupied it, and ruled it, and Islamized it. That's why Senegalese are Muslims. 95% of people in Senegal, trust me, are Muslims. But why? Because of the 8th century attack by the Babas, which introduced uh, Islam to Senegal. So Senegalese are largely Muslim because of their history with the, the Babas, history with the invaders who came and took over that land and Islamized it for so many centuries. So it remains highly uh, a Christian nation. In terms of GDP, Senegal's GDP is 27 billion only. You can imagine Senegal's GDP is worrying. 27 uh, billion only. That's actually worrying. And of course, exploitation is uh, uh, six uh, million dollars. Now uh, that is also another uh, worrying. I mean, six thousand. Uh, 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 you know, it's also worrying. Importation is quite high. Now they are exporting less, and uh, they are importing more. How do you import goods worth twelve uh, million dollars, uh, for example? And then wait, we are exporting only six. We are exporting only a half of what we import now. That is quite challenging. In terms of tourism, tourism is doing very well. $557 million right there. And of course, debt rate is high. You can imagine a country with a debt rate of 74%. That is very, very, very worrying. You have a debt rate of 74% of your GDP. It means you are begging. You are begging others to sustain your country. 74% of the debt of the GDP is high. This country is highly indebted. It's one of the highly indebted poor countries in Africa and in the world. That is Senegal. Now, unemployment rate in Senegal is high at 3%. That is high. Inflation is even worse at almost 10%. Now, this is worrying stats on Senegal. Look at the economy. It is struggling. They are importing more than they are exporting. If you cannot only earn six million out of your exportation and you are importing twelve million, it means you cannot even sustain your economy. Now, this is Senegal at a glance. The economy is struggling. Now, when you look at other uh, dots here to add on the mix here, we say that due to political and financial situation, Senegal is considered as one of the least developed countries in the world and is also one of the heavily indebted poor countries with an average of annual income which is only 1620 US dollars you can imagine therefore it's a lower middle income country it's a lower middle income country and this is bad because it's Senegal is one of the poorest countries in the world let us continue looking at the statistics now in terms of um, land use the land use much of the land use actually goes to agriculture i told you senegal has good lands forests come second with 42 percent are forests that is good water covers only two percent and of course urban people people in the urban areas only cover one percent of uh, the land use now in terms of railways it's quite a big coverage 16,000 kilometers of the railway there and of course, um, uh, we see waterways, 1,000 kilometers. Uh, there are only 1 million vehicles that uh, are registered officially in Senegal. Uh, airports and others, the statistics is uh, seen there now. We also go to uh, cities. I told you, Dakar is the capital city of Senegal. It has 1 million 182,000 people living in Dakar. Dakar, the knows. Toba, St. Louis, the oldest city in Senegal is called St. Louis. And uh, it was discovered there, it was established in the 1600s there. We have other cities like Tebo, Zogor, Koraka, Tambo, Kowanda, and others. Let us look at other facts very fast, other facts of Senegal very fast. Now, we look at Senegal in terms of politics. Senegal has been stable, I should tell you. I gave it to Senegal. Rule of law has been also upheld in one way or another. Senegal 
is a democratic country. If you compare to other countries in West Africa, it explains to you why there haven't been any coup in Senegal since 1960. Remember, the first president was my poet guy. The poet guy who was the first president of Senegal, the man we know as the, uh, the best poet, the man we know as the man who introduced the idea of negritude, the man who introduced the idea of negritude in Senegal, none other than the man known as Leopold Sengo. Leopold Sengo, born in October 1906, Leopold Sengo was the first president of Senegal, introduced the benchmark on which Senegal moves and introduced the concept of negritude. A man named as Leopold Sengo. Leopold Sengo was the first president of Senegal and gave them the foundation on which this country moves. Senegal is more democratic than Nigeria. Senegal is more better governed than Niger. And Senegal is better governed than Sierra Leone. It's a better country by far in terms of governance, but it is still struggling. There's no death penalty in Senegal. Let's look at other 36. Let us look at other figures about Senegal. Now, Senegal has alliances. Senegal has alliances, of course, uh, with Comesa, ECOWAS, Romewa. It has alliances with the uh, uh, African Union. It is part of the non aligned movement. It is part of the G33, Forum for Developing Countries. It is part of the Latin Union. It is part of the OIC, Organization of the Islamic Corporation. I told you, Senegal has 94 of its people who are Muslim. It's an Islamic country, but peaceful, but peaceful. Senegal is part of the UN and UNESCO. Senegal has, of course, beautiful people, I should tell you. Remember, these have been products of intermarriages. The Babas were there since the 8th century. Think about it. Babas they have been in Senegal since the 8th century. And Babas are a mixture, of course, of the Arabs and the others. So Senegal has the intermarriages, has mistresses, has mixed tribes in Senegal, right there. Smiling people, happy people in Senegal, hardworking people in Senegal. I told you, Senegal is a mixed race country. It has uh, uh, brown people, it has um, black people, it has beautiful villages, beautiful villages, good climate, tropical in nature. And of course, Senegal has been one of the peaceful countries in Africa. We give them credit, of course, beautiful women right there in Senegal, right, beautiful women in Senegal. There are beautiful villages in Senegal and of course they happy people. And of course we see people who love their tradition, the world of people, the world of people, that the guys who love their culture as much as uh, you can imagine. They have coastlines, they have beaches, some of the beautiful beaches in the world can be seen in Senegal. Some of the best villages in the world because of the water. Senegal has all the animals in the world you know about. Lions, giraffes, rhinos, hippopotamuses. all these lions, all these animals can be seen. Elephants can be seen in Senegal. All these animals, think about. Go to Senegal, you'll find them there. Why? It's a tropical kind of country. It has a vast uh, area where wildlife is restricted. People want to decorate themselves, of course, women there. I told you the babas have been in Senegal since the 8th century. So there's a mixture of Arabic blood there. There's a mixture of uh, intermarriages of people there. Now the current president of Senegal, the current president of Senegal is none other than Makisal, none other than Makisal. Give me a minute. I'm going to be explaining a bit about this guy here, uh, Makisal. Now Makisal became the president uh, um, on uh, 2nd April 2012. That's when he assumed the office. He was the first president of Senegal. He was the first president of Senegal. But he was in the system before he became the president. If you look at his history, his economist was in the system before he became the president. Mark Sall was born on 11th December 1961. He was a politician even before he became a president. He was re-elected re in February 2019. And uh, of course, when uh, President Abdul Abdullahi Wade, if you remember Abdullahi Wade, uh, left, of course, uh, as Mark Sall uh, took over. Remember, uh, Sall was Prime Minister of Senegal from July 2004 to June 2007. He worked under Wade, he was treated by Wade, and is now one of those leaders steering uh, Senegal 
uh, to greater heights, regardless of the challenges, it is uh, his presidential term in office, and he has been there. He uh, has been there in the office since 2012, but of course, it has been reported that there were cancelled elections, which were scheduled in Feb for February, to, uh, 20, 25th of February, 2024. This guy went ahead and cancelled elections. Now, this is worrying because people are saying that in, uh, Sal, Max Sal, may become a dictator because he just cancelled an election because his time was over. He was supposed to leave office or go for another re election but this guy cancelled it now opposition in senegal has called him a push it they have called him a push it push it uh, which means someone who wants to stay in power illegally so they are calling him an impositor right there now we all think that maybe not selling he will do something right and not impose himself on the people of senegal because this country has never had a coup now, if Max Sally doesn't want to be re-elected official, because there was supposed to be an election in February 25th, 2024, and this guy has cancelled the voting, has cancelled the election. Now, the question is, if Max Sally official Dukokunai as the president of Senegal when he has stopped voting, is he illegal in the office? Or oh, Max Sally will do the right thing and accept his countrymen and women to go and vote. Either vote for him or vote him out. The opposition is calling a guy who is slowly becoming a dictator. But we hope that Max Sally will do the right thing and they allow democracy to prevail and offer himself for an, another election, be elected, officially or leave power. Otherwise, Senegal is one of the most peaceful countries in the world. One of the most peaceful countries in Africa and the most, peace, the most peaceful country in West Africa. It was ruled by the French. Up to now, the French still benefit from Senegal. But Senegal is doing far better than many other countries. Thank you for watching. Please keep subscribing to Human TV Africa. And of course, subscribe, like, share, comment. See you in the next episode.